dear Leo, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. I'm just beginning with your goddess energy, okay? This is the energy you need to embody, likely, Leo, if you were led to click play on this read. I do realize I have a lot of subscribers, but very few of them actually tune into these readings. So if you're randomly present and like the content, I do hope you click subscribe so you don't miss a video. Oh, dear Leo. Freya. Freya. It says, the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. I'm done. Oh, dear Leo. Many of you are being called to be sure. Super sure before you agree to any new romance. Super sure before you agree to anything in your present romantic situation. Let's get the advice on this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Freya, the goddess of discernment. Freya, Freya, Freya. Spending your time wisely. What's going on in a romantic situation? This is something you got to think about, Leo. Even if you're married to them, spend your time wisely. Discern, you know, who's worth your time and when. It's a vibe. <laughs> it says, enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other. Let me tell you, is there somebody that you're discerning whether they're worth your time or not? For many of you, you know that you finally found somebody like meeting your match, okay? Shout out to my twin texting me in this read. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, you guys, check it. Are you like trying to discern whether this person is right for you or not? Again, many of you are feeling like there's somebody who's worth a shot. But others of you who are on the fence, you're here to find out that you don't have to say yes until you're good and freaking ready. Let's get more. What's going on with dear Leo? Present energy surrounding you. What's coming in? What don't you see or know about this situation? We'll take a glimpse at the recent past as well as what's at the top of the situation today. Where should your focus lie? What's coming in near future as well as the potential final outcome with the energies at present? Enjoying good vibes. We have the Six of Pentacles. Wow. It looks like for many of you, if you've been waiting for a connection to resume or to restart, um, Divine Masculine is at the door. Okay. So Divine Feminine, you might have your back turned towards this masculine. You might have your head down. You can't see this goodness coming in. All right. So head up, chin up, dear Leo. Let's see what else is happening for you. Five of Cups. Yes, many of you are sad. Many of you do have your heads down. But I bet you if you just chin up and look left and right, look to the left, look to the right, you might find a potential suitor here, okay? Wow. Trying to discern who is likely worth your time, Leo. Is that you? Were you quite literally in the Leo reading because you're like, I don't know about this dude anymore? Okay. I don't know about this chick. I don't know if she's worth my time, Melissa. I don't know if I need a personal reading with you, Melissa, or if you could just tell me one time in this general, Melissa. I'm going to try and get y'all in the general, okay? So you've been sad over the situation. I do feel like, Leo, you just need to chin up because there is someone in your peripheral that is likely ready to court you and to treat you well, but you're, you seem to be stuck on one person. And so you're trying to contemplate now, is it worth going back to that person who hurt you, giving them a shot, or is there someone new who can enter your life? This is a moment of discernment. What you don't know about this situation, Knight of Pentacles. I do feel like somebody is coming around for you slow, but sure. Could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, could be a Taurus. But this is somebody that once they arrive to their destination, there is no kind of like removing them from your life. So this is also why Spirit is leading you here to say whoever you're talking to right now, make sure you're not wasting your time at all. Like say you're talking to somebody and you're only with them because you know they like take you to the best freaking spots ever and and you know it's always their treat. Like if you're just like kind of using somebody right now for companionship Leo, it ain't gonna work out okay because Freya is <laughs> giving you that zest right now saying look it's actual decision time because we're not stringing losers along. Oh, dear Leo, who's claiming this? It's a vibe. Okay, we only want to vibe out with those that we truly, truly feel connected to on a soul level. All right, 
right? We don't have time to play games. And there's somebody in your life who's willing to build with you and be by your side and all that jazz and take their sweet time getting towards the, you know, what is it? The pursuit of happiness together, you know, whatever this is, but I feel like you need to chin up first. Okay. So it's you, Leo, who has to decide to, um, get over the loser who hurt you. Some of y'all know who y'all still sad about. Okay. But I feel like the goddess of discernment wants to help you through that. Is it even worth taking a look back? Oh, Zen Leo. In the recent past, death, look, major change, major transformation. What has changed for Leo? The T on the death card is lightning. Oh my God, control your anger or you will be sorry. For many of you who lashed the heck out, who had it out, who told somebody about themselves, who's truly pondering someone in their life and whether or not they still have a place because I see that the tower aka the tower with this lightning here okay this is an oracle card so it won't be the tower from the tarot but similar energy behind this I feel like you got so angered at somebody in your life for not showing up for you in the way that you deserve Leo you're truly trying to decide right now whether it's worth a damn or whether you're moving on for once and for all. At the top of your situation today, we have the nine of wands in the reverse. That's it. You're no longer feeling like getting abused, used, you know, whatever the case, doing the most. Being hurt by this connection is not on your fucking radar right now. That's not what you're trying to do. It's not where you're trying to go. Sorry that I just said a French word. Okay, Paul de moi, Paul de moi, whatever the heck. Um, but it is what it is. I, I just felt that for somebody like discernment right now, okay? If it's not an easygoing, lighthearted situation right now, we don't want it right now. Oh, Zillio. In the near future, your king of swords is coming out in the reverse too. Could be a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius you might be saying goodbye to for once and for all. It depends on you, okay? But I understand that if this person upset you or angered you to the point where you don't feel like a priority in their life, they won't have you for much longer. Especially because the goddess of discernment is here to let you know that it needs to be a holy hell yes and not a maybe or what, whatever, what have you, all right? How you view yourself, my loves, the sun, destiny, okay? Leo, there you are. You view yourself as a very passionate person, a big romantic individual, okay? And you feel like you deserve this love that's destined for you, okay? You're viewing yourself in a romantic fairy tale, all right? For those of you who are single, I just want to gather what's coming in in love definitively. For those who see themselves in this beautiful connection, but you may not have any prospects right now, What's coming in in love? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for dear Leo. <clears throat> True love. All right. Look, you're not finna settle for somebody who doesn't make you feel all the feels. I was just listening to Tory Lane's mixtape Playboy. And holy ish, am I, did I get all the feels from that? So, Leo, if this person doesn't bring you the feels... Like, literally, you're being called to only be with those that bring you a vibe. A vibe that's undeniable. A smile that can't be wiped off your face easily. Okay? How are others viewing you right now? Nine of Swords. They see your anxiety. They know that you're stressed and worried about this union. Okay? So, if the person that you're worried and stressed about is viewing you this way, that person ain't shit. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> okay, who am I reading for? But quite literally, like, if somebody knows that you don't feel well, and they're not trying to make you feel better about it, th is, th is that really your person? Hmm. It's a question. Okay, collective, your hope or your fear. We have the devil here. Let me tell you, lots of you are very obsessed with these individuals. And I'm just gonna put it out there. The sex life could be great. Okay. And it's hard to walk away from some some goodness when you found it and I ain't judging anybody out there but you know because that might be difficult uh to let go of you might be holding on to a situation that just doesn't serve you okay remember that true love is present because that's who you are and that's what you deserve so that's what you'll attract to you but for right now there's somebody who really needs to discern over whether or not this is the type of night you want to spend on a every Friday night you know what I mean Mm. Dear Leo, what is the final outcome here? Queen of Swords. Oh, Pentacles. Good. Better than Swords. Okay. But Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like if you feel like you need to sit 
and wait for your DM. <laughs> you know those readings, those... <laughs> My divine masculine is returning and divine feminine and the masculine. And look, as a twin flame, I'm just laughing at that shit, okay? We be on some, when are they returning? Hashtag they never left. <laughs> Hashtag they never left. But that's the thing. Are you waiting around for somebody like who has you like this though? You know, no matter if this person is a shadow person, been in the background of your life forever, or if they're your front person living with you in the house right now, whoever's making you feel this way, I don't care what label they got on them. Oh, hunty, you deserve better. You deserve this true love that's coming in for you. So long as you see yourself as this worthy and you already do. So babies, let's correct our lenses. Let's get the spirit of discernment popping. Thank you, Freya. Okay, wild offering. Dear Leo, you have a decision to make, okay? If they do not bring you the vibe <laughs> that leaves you with the illest and the realest smile. I mean, quite literally, dear Leo, they need to go. Oh yeah, we didn't even get at the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse that came through as a final outcome. For your wild offering, you have contentment here, okay? We about to get to that Queen of Pentacles, but contentment says you can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly you remember, I'm right here resting in God. Oh my God, contentment, even alone, Leo. I'm right here resting in God. I'm not waiting for no freaking DM at the doorway watching me cry, not even freaking wiping my tears. My nips are out and he's not even tending to them. Like what is going on in this photo? Okay, dear Leo, I love you guys. Shine bright like the freaking sun that you are all right let me tell y'all there's somebody waiting to share a connection with you a promising one please don't stop this from happening for you okay i promise you'll love it queen of pentacles came out in the reverse i feel like if you guys are waiting around for the one that has your chin down oh dear leo you're never gonna feel stable sure or secure okay there's we cannot get things from people who are incapable of giving them to us period okay we could wait around forever but if he ain't got the milk okay he's not gonna bring the milk Right? So I could wait around and be like, yeah, go find the milk, go find the milk. I mean, if this man isn't capable of, of finding milk, like what a stupid metaphor, but I'm just saying like, go to the milk man, go to the one that you know has the milk. Okay? Like stop waiting for someone who, 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 you know, frequents in juice to bring you milk. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe you do. Oh, dear Leo, Queen of Pentacles is in a reverse because again, there will be no security waiting for someone who makes you so angry and makes you feel so unloved. Okay? We have the eight of freaking Pentacles in the reverse. You see, you're not working on nothing. Freya, <laughs> don't want you to work on nothing. Discern better. Holy Spirit said, you, you stop at your true love from coming in, honey. Be content with where you are, okay? You're not waiting for no one magical DM to save you. We're saving ourselves. Oh dear Leo, I do hope this resonated for you. I'll leave you with a heart and soul message before we part. Please, please, please take a quick look to the left, a quick look to the right. If they ain't by your side right now, and if they don't have a smile plastered on your face, then they need to get the step in. I love you guys. Heart and soul for dear Leo. <laughs> All right. Heart and soul message for dear Leo. Holy Spirit, how can you speak into the heart and soul of dear Leos everywhere? All right. It says, this card reflects protection, freedom, and success. It won't be quick or easy, but you will succeed, and you are protected along the way. Free yourself of past doubt, fear, and guilt. Let go of fixed expectations. Be flexible, adaptable, and open to new avenues and ideas. A higher power is trying to guide you. The spirit of discernment is trying to show you the way. It's a vibe, dear Leo. Be blessed. Keep the vibe, all right? Peace.